feel myself today. I got something special for you. I was minding my own business looking at the internet and I found out that trapper keepers are coming back. I'm talking about the ones that we saw and had as kids for those of us who are 80s kids. I will break my day to go get me a trapper keeper. And I don't like shopping at Walmart, but that was the only thing that I had instead of buying it from eBay, which was gonna be about $40. So let me tell you, I'm on my way to pick up my trapper keepers. I got two. Oh shit. I know this is not the quality content that you're used to, but hear me out and humor me, okay? I was a child of the 80s. I had a Trapper Keeper, of course. Many did. And I want to relive my childhood just for one day, just in this one video. So we go look at some Trapper Keepers. We'll go see what we can do with it. I thought maybe it might be nice to put some swatch charts in there. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Yes. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's do the reveal. Sick reveal, folks. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look how beautiful it is. Look how beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh. Traps everything inside, that's for sure. Someone was telling me that it was a nightmare for elementary teachers, and I said, why? And she gave me a list of reasons right why, and she's like, you have to hear that Velcro all day. I'm like, that's the point. I love the Velcro. <gasps> oh, this brings back so many memories. They're so good. Oh my God. Truly, truly. I'm so excited. I haven't been this excited in a long time. This one is especially my favorite because of the fact that it's purple and pink and all these beautiful bright colors. Let's take a look at this. You know what this reminds me of? Is some of the artwork for Muse's Simulation Theory. They kind of had this sort of 80s vibe going on and, you know, obviously the album centered around the Simulation Theory. I think this was made to look like the 80s, but this definitely wasn't from the 80s. Some of these graphics are definitely made now. I think it would be cool if they brought back some of the old school graphics on this, but I still love the aesthetic. I am not complaining at all whatsoever. Look at that. It's so cute open it up oh yes yes look how nice it is oh and they always had this useful information not that I really cared too much about it but they had you know the conversion tables and they had the uh, multiplication tables and everything for those of us who just weren't good at math naturally okay I'm digging the black yeah nice classic you're able to see everything and then of course we had, for those of you who never had a Trapper Keeper, this is where you kept like your, your pad of paper, like a legal pad, or um, you kept your extra homework in here, and then uh, you had like whatever you wanted to clip on here. And, and you could add, they had different designer folders throughout the years where you could add like, you know, three or four folders in here. So that if you had multiple subjects, you could carry everything all in one place. And that's why it was so innovative for students, I feel like. And oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I almost don't want to use them, but yeah, I have to, I bought them. And they were only $10. So check this out. This is more, I feel like this is a nice, like kind of gender neutral vibe going on here. So, oh, it looks so cool. Lasers, big time, were a big thing. Shapes, geometric shapes, lasers, grids, things like that. And guess what? We kind of have that thing going on now. So, you know, history repeats itself. So, we got the nice little trap of keeper. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry it's shaky, guys. Oh, gosh. Oh, look at that blue. It's like a cyan robin's egg blue. I might put this inside of this. I don't know, we'll see. But wow, oh, I love it, I love it. Now I know that this seems a little bit like off subject for this channel, but trust me, we're gonna make it fit into the channel somehow because I am so excited for this. <laughs> I mean, I know I keep saying that, but truly, truly I am because I never thought that they would bring these back. I mean, there have been people selling them on eBay, like the old ones, for like 50, 70 bucks. I'm like, you know what? I love my childhood, but I don't I don't love it for $70 for a Trapper Keeper that's been used and probably all beat up. So, you know, this is really exciting. It's like, 
I can relive everything. Oh gosh. Yes, I'm into it. I have a tub full of my stuff from my childhood, but I also have ideas for these Trapper Keepers for artists. I was thinking, what would an artist want to do with a Trapper Keeper? Hmm. Let's discover. See all these right here? These are books, notebooks full of my drawings and musings and stuff. like watercolor dots in here and all that good stuff and lots of swatches and you know the thing is is that it's not very well organized and I found out that these sleeves obviously I didn't think this out very well as one does uh, this is these are eight and a half by eleven sleeves and then the rest of this stuff that kind of just gets shoved to the front is nine by twelve because Lord knows I'm the only Virgo that can't seem to get herself organized maybe one of them could be for my color swatch charts and my organization, and the other one could be for um, my childhood stuff. You know? It's hot. It's actually, it's not hot, it's humid. Coming. Welcome back to my channel. Because I'm worth it. Now, I honestly don't know if this is going to work, but... I'm willing to give it a shot so I was thinking about it and the one that is going to be used the most will be the one that is going to be probably my color swatch chart and whatever it is that I stick in here so the other one is a little bit more of like an honor towards my childhood I'm going to keep that for the trusted retro mm, nostalgic trapper keeper okay so I guess we're gonna to have to start with getting some of this stuff out so what I'll do whenever I have a new swatch chart is I'll come back here and get one from the blank ones and just slide it on in there, baby. And then you can just pop that baby open, put it on in there, and you're good to go. I just thought of something. Even though they won't fit into the sleeves, I got a hole puncher. I got a good idea. Okay. Well, it's better than nothing. <gasps> yes! Yes, 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 yes. This is what I need. This is what I need in my life. Oh, I'm excited. So this is Sennelier. We'll put Sennelier towards the front because Sennelier is very nice. Look at this. It'll look a little wonky, but that's okay. It's not entirely lined up. It'll stick out, but that's okay. Are we ready? So satisfying. tell there's going to be a limit to how many charts are going to be able to fit in here but look how nice this is compared to the other just dollar store the way everything was all shoved in there i mean this will be nice i'll be you know separated into categories i've got like your watercolor charts here i've got gouache in the front i've got watercolor i've got some markers and real brush pens and then i've got um colored pencils and I have so many other charts that I need to do guys and I might just have to use the second trapper keeper for that I'm not sure but what's nice is I was able to separate my little watercolor dots of Daniel Smith back here from everything else and we'll just hang on to that for now because I know I'm going to swatch them at some point but I'm kind of mad at Daniel Smith the brand right now so um I'm not going to do anything about that right now so <laughs> but anyways it's nice because I found the hole puncher and I was able to 
you know, put these in here. Now I could have done that with the other binder, but it's just so nice and kept together. And then this is kind of random stuff up here, like um, blending charts and just some other things that won't fit in there. And then in here, I'm going to, you know, take photo references and sketches and things of ideas that I want to do and just put them nicely in here. It'll be just nice to have everything all in one place. So check that out. And I love this. This is so satisfying. There we go. It's all in there. Kind of nice. I knew Trapper Keeper wouldn't let me down. Well, thank you for humoring me today, guys. I really appreciate it. I'm going to go rock out to some 80s music. I hope that you enjoyed this as much as I did. Thank you for letting me make a video that I wanted to make. So, I mean, I, make, I like making all of my videos, but you know, this one was just a little bit off kilter. So, I'm going to be live streaming. Not here, though. It's going to be on Amazon Live for a brand called Chocola. Now, I have worked with them several times in the past, and so at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time on Sundays, you're going to tune in to the Amazon Live uh, page for Chocola. I can, I can put a link in the description box for the Chocola live stream that didn't happen last week because Amazon's web servers were down. But it's rescheduled for June 16th at 3 p.m. So, I know that's a Friday and it's very confusing, but following the 16th, it's going to be every Sunday at 3 p.m. So definitely tune in there. I'm gonna try and work in a live stream here once a week maybe, or maybe every once every two weeks or something. But uh, lots of things are happening. I hope that you have a wonderful day. I definitely had a wonderful time putting this together and it makes me feel so much more organized and makes me so happy. It makes my heart sing. So thanks guys. <laughs> I'll see you next time guys. Keep creating. I was a child of the 80s and I loved myself some Trevor Keeper. Keeper, keep, keep. Your girl, your girl's from the 80s, so, you know, I think we got this little guy right here. I'm holding him kind of close away because he smells a little bit. Even though they won't fill it, they, oh my god. Hmm. And for those of y'all who have children with sensory issues or you have sensory issues, guess what? These were made many, many moons ago. I'm aging myself. But yes, these were from the 80s, too. But now we're just realizing how wonderful they are to calm down with. This is not something to calm down with. Can I break it? Ooh, you see it? If not, I'm going to do it up close. It was a simpler time. So maybe one of these could be for like my color swatches, etc., etc and plans for my videos because lord knows I, i'm like the only virgo that's not good at very you know good I, i'm like i'm i'm not joking